up, Lady Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's Anime Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for Devil's Line Season 1, Episode 3, titled Paradox. And Platinum Vision, I can't believe what the fuck you're doing! Alright, so the first part of the episode, like before the opening song, is um, the last bit of uh, Chapter uh, 3's adaptation of the manga and yes i'm fine with the, that part being adapted now that's not the issue i'm having a problem with here but what we're doing afterwards okay now this is where i got a problem with platinum vision what the fuck are you thinking first of all the chapter that is actually called paradox unless you're jumping back to it after this but that doesn't make any sense you it, the chapter it's named, this episode's named after chapter four, is being fucking skipped right now for, for goddamn chapter five! But why? Why are you skipping chapter four? You better, I, I swear to God, Platinum Vision, you better be jumping back to chapter four's content. I swear to God, because that storyline is good. The other thing I'm having, I'm really having a problem with, and it, and I'm real, I realized it as I was watching the the opening again, is I noticed, and I ranted about this last week with you know this, them doing the Tyra storyline more than covering Anzai shit. Is if you look at this opening, you notice they they barely show Tyra at all. They're they're showing all the devils, hence this, you know, because this is called Devil's Line. Platinum Vision, what? Why are you not showing enough all of Ty uh, like showing Tyra more in the opening since you're just focusing on Tyra's storyline more than showing Anzai and shit? I'm just getting I'm just so goddamn annoyed right now at, at this anime at, at Platinum Vision. Like Platinum Vision, you are driving this writing is going to be the downfall of this series. Like I don't Platinum Vision, I don't know what the fuck your production team is thinking. Are you just trying to get feminists into this show? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Jeez. Are you trying to get the Me Too people in involved? Because, sorry to break it to you, but most of those feminists, especially in the West, they don't watch anime. They, uh, God, could, uh, God could tell you this, they don't fucking read. They barely goddamn read. The most reading they do is on social media. They barely even, and they barely even read tweets, for God's sakes. Ah, oh, but God, I can't believe, I can't believe they're skipping chapter, they're skipping chapter four, which has a really good storyline and relates to fucking chapter five. It's like the foreshadowing of what's about to happen in chapter five. I, I just can't believe this. Oh, Platinum Vision, I swear to God, you better be jumping back to Chapter 4. You better be, or I'm going to be really, really mad. Jeez, Platinum Vision, what is with you and fucking facial expressions? My God! Even, and you know what's sad is even Studio Perio could do, fa and Black Clover could do better facial expressions than this. That's so goddamn sad! Oh my God, first of all, we got Onsai content here. Finally, and we got dialogue or inner monologue stuff skipped from the end near the end of chapter three here. Thank you. Finally, we're getting some Anzai content. Thank God. Oh my God. Thank you, Platinum Vision. We we are back at, at, at four, we jump back to chapter four. Thank you. Thank you, Platinum Vision. You should have just started with Plat Chapter 4 in the fucking first place. There was no need for this extra Tyra content. But, okay, I'm gonna just roll with this. We're at, and this is like at the four, uh, this is when the Anzai content starts, which is like a little bit at the four, after the four minute mark. So, thank fucking God we're getting Anzai content. Can we just have more Anzai content like this, please? I 
was so scared we were going to get that we were not going to get good content. We were not going to get this um, uh, chapter adapted this week. Oh, thank God. Oh, ah, this part was skipped. What happened? Why am I reminiscing at a time like this uh, was skipped? But I got to tell you right now, this episode is already a thousand times better than last week. Thank you, Platinum Vision, for doing this. So far, we're doing a lot better. You see, the six minute, 19, 20 second mark is exactly why I, I believe in Platinum Vision and why I, I'm going to keep harping on them to do a better manga to anime adaptation. And that's why I say the writing is, is going to be the downfall of this series. Because they actually give us blood and gore! Thank you! I love that we get blood and gore in this series. <sighs> it's not fucking censored like a uh, certain series. Platinum Vision, I want you to do me a favor. You need to go watch what Major Second did today with the facial expressions. And also, you, you know what? Even Studio Period is, is really good with the facial expressions. And what was the other one that was that's been pretty good with you know what even to an extent, I will even say Studio Perry has been fucking good with expressions. And Yamushi Pel yeah, Yamushi Pel has been damn good with facial expressions. That is that is kind of your problem. It's facial expressions, because this scene here is supposed to be comedic. And it's not going far enough here. And oh if you just get the facial expressions like the manga like i could like it would just be hilarious and it would look so freaking cool oh, i don't know if i'm asking for too much but i believe in you platinum vision i know you could do it why are we not getting any more online or monologue platinum vision you're killing me smalls oh um like this one. To be honest, I understand. Even though I understand it doesn't matter. This kid has too many weaknesses. She'll definitely be targeted. And today of all days is especially dangerous. Like, why? Why would you not cover that? Stop it. I didn't come here for this. And then, um, we, we got this. But I will say this. I gotta give Plat Platinum Vision you are actually adapting the manga in order you are oh my god and i was about to rage drop you earlier but you know what i can't i i don't need to now you're actually covering it in, in order now thank you for doing that but now we just need to work on the facial expressions um in the anime we need to make we need to make our characters just a little bit more expressive and animation wise and we also need to work a little bit more on actually giving Anzai a little bit more inner monologue-ish. We, we need to give him more. Because this is, again, this is called Devil's Line. This ain't called Tyrus Line. We need to get more from his perspective. Because this anime could be really powerful. And that's what, uh, this is why I'm telling you, um... Platinum Vision, go watch uh, Major Second, especially uh, the past couple of weeks episodes of Major Second, because what they've been doing, and fuck, the past couple of weeks of Yamushi Petal, uh, uh, Glory Line, what they've been doing, their inner monologues have been extremely powerful, and I know you could do, and uh, you could do that for Anzai. And that's what I've been envisioning on uh, uh, for when I was reading the manga. I've been envisioning like these powerful inner monologues going on for Anzai. And we ain't getting them and it's just really disappointing. But I know you guys can do it. We're, I know it's baby steps. We're, it, baby steps. I know nerdy kids, we, we need some baby steps going on here. But we're, we're in the right direction. At least we're getting the content in order. Our uh, the order of events is basically we're, we're, we're in order now. At least we're getting that. Thank God we're getting that. Thank God we're not. Uh, thank God this isn't a clusterfuck like last week. 
Oh, thank God we're not a, gi a giant clusterfuck like the past couple of weeks. Oh, but we, we're getting there. We're getting there, Platinum Vision. Slowly. Slowly we're getting there li like Studio Periot. But Jesus. Platinum Vision. We, we need to get that animation work done with the facial expressions. And, and we need to work on that. And we need to work on getting more Anzai in there. Jeez. The 8 minute 31 second mark. See, you could do good things with this animation. You see, when you're not focusing on Tyra and you're focusing on other devils and shit, you could give us good stuff, Platinum Vision. This, this scene with Ryusuke, when he's explaining everything, like why he didn't run away and when he punched a man and he was, and uh, it caught us in a bleed and he, you know, he's fighting his urges and shit. Oh, see, Platinum Vision, you see what you could do with your animation here? Oh, this is why I want you to focus more on Anzai. It's because you could do some powerful shit like this. Oh, God. See, this is the, this is the potential of this anime. I know you guys could do it. Please, Platinum Vision, please give us more content like this. Oh, and this piano music, too, through the story. Oh. Oh, man. This is, this is, you see what I mean, guys? You see why, even though I did an hour rant and, and gave Plat Tor Platinum Vision a new one last week, you guys understand why I didn't drop this series. Because I know Platinum Vision can do it. I know they can. I know they can give us quality stuff. I know they can give us a good Manga to anime adaptation. I know they can do it. It's just, it, I, they just need some tough love to get shit done. Oh my god, the 10 minute 13, the 10 minute 14 second line, like this stuff right here. Oh, find the villain. This is the kind of shit, this is the artsy stuff. I, I love, I love this shit. Like, because th this is the shit that I saw, like, it, uh, or this is the potential that I saw in you. Like at the start of the first episode of uh, Devil's Lion and the start of the second episode. Like this is, got, this is the, uh, the artsy stuff. The high art, the cool innovative shit that I know you guys could do. It, oh God, it looks, oh, you need to do more of this. Seriously, please do more of this. Oh, this is killing me. Platinum Vision, you could have made this scene even more powerful. You were doing so good. This scene would have been so perfect. Minami, you were always my be best friend. But the truth is, Minami, I will avenge you. No matter who he is, I will kill him and suck him dry. Just, just, you could have done that and then gone to the commercial. Like, why didn't you do that? Like, what is it with you and, like, these flashbacks especially the one last week i was pissed that you didn't show that one because i want first of all i wanted to see a little onsai really wanted to see a little onsai last week but why did you show this one and then go into the commercial oh we were doing so well part of vision oh that's killing me Bruh. but we're also not getting the report um, update on the murder case at uh, ha uh, Hazamachi. The police have found a murder weapon at the home of the store manager. The manager has um, now been arrested for further questioning. Um, here we go. I love you, Jill. But the thing, like, the, the content about Jill and, and, and Yuki having a previous relationship was skipped last week. Duh. You, you see, Platinum Vision, this is why little things like that are kind of important. Because they come up again. Oh, Tyra, life ain't easy being Jill. It, it isn't. Especially because she's a devil. It ain't easy being a devil. What? We're not getting the kiss? What? No! This is not fair! What the fuck? Yes, that dream sequence was 
was cool. But, but they're supposed to kiss! Oh my god! Why? That's not fair! Oh, that's not fair! Oh, well at least we get, we get to see um, Andre with his red eyes and shit, but god damn it, they were supposed to kiss! That's not fair! Chapter 4? We're not gonna see Agent, Agent 70? Right? We're not gonna get her first appearance right now? I know we're gonna see her in this episode based on the preview uh, that I saw last week. We're gonna definitely see Agent 70. But we're supposed to see her right now! It's not fair. But, uh. Like right here on, um. Uh, that, uh, this part was skipped. That time I beat up that professor, I never had the urge to drink his blood. Where the fuck was that, first of all? And then, um, we, so we're not gonna get this from, uh, from Agent 70. A target is in sight. The great and bloody year begins. Use all, um, uh, your might to kill every vampire out there. Let this year be the best year in history, um, Agent 70. Are we, seriously, we're not gonna get that? We're just gonna go into, uh... We're gonna go into chapter 5 now? Whatever. So at the 13 minute, like, 40 second mark, we go into chapter 5's adaptation. I'm gonna say this about chapter 4's adaptation. I will say this. For the most part, it was a thousand times better than the shit we got last week. Thank fucking God. There's a lot of room for improvement. Let's get, let's be real here. There's a lot of room for, there's a lot of shit that was bad. From, compared to a lot of the other manga and anime adaptations that, um, I cover on this channel. But, but, baby steps, Platinum Vision. We got baby steps. But these, it, the episode felt a lot more, or this part, this, uh, chapter felt more balanced. We had a balance of Anzai and Tyra, so we got a huge improvement. So now let's get into Chapter 5's adaptation. So at the 13 minute 59 second mark, we jump to page um, 12 of uh, Chapter 5. And to be honest, I don't mind this uh, scene change because it, act, it, to, it actually flows a lot better. And yes, I know we're waiting for Agent 70. We have not gotten her first appearance yet. We were supposed to get her first appearance already, but we have not. Um, and the other thing is that I don't mind is we get the rest of the restaurant scene uh, with Tyra and her friend being skipped. I do not mind that being skipped at all. You can skip that shit, Platinum Vision. I am totally fine with that. So good on you for deciding to skip that shit, production. So let's keep going here. Um, and, oh, the student scene with, uh, um, oh my god, with the doctor and Odd's Eye, that was, was fucking perfect, it was so extreme, I loved it, but this part was skip, um, come to think of it, he didn't change much this year, even if he sees blood, he can still use drugs to control it, is that normal? Well, I think it is for, for half, half blood, it, it's gotta be. Um, and this part was skipped. Do I need a psychiatrist assistant? Um, uh, but I don't really want to report, uh, this to my superiors. Um, and that was skipped. There she is! Agent 07! We saw her! But this, this was skipped. I don't understand why this was skipped, but you should have had at least on, this is my problem with you. Uh, uh, Platinum Vision is at least have like some more uh, uh, there's not enough of Anzai's inner monologues here and an Anzai's narration it's so uh, to me Anzai's narration because it's called devil's line and most of the story is from his point of view and it's kind of important to have it and like especially this right here total population at 0 0.01 percent so there's a demon in every 10,000 uh, 10, people Five were killed in half a month, each in the same way. This is not a coincidence. Instead of having this shit about Tyra's Christmas present, you should have had that shit. It's really goddamn annoying. But I'm glad we finally got a sighting of uh, Agent Zero uh, Center, uh, Agent Zero Seven. 
I'm very happy that's there. Um, and yes, I don't mind that this is skipped, but at the same time, since you're gonna make this about Tyra, a lot of this shit about Tyra, you might as well have this here too, because the thing is, is with Anzai's story that that's, and yes, Tyra is a part of it, is I feel like not having the inner, all of Anzai's inner turmoil here, it just really makes this anime less powerful, if that makes sense. Because you could make this anime extremely powerful, but, ah, uh, just, it's just so frustrating, but this, this is what was skipped. Um, how can I, uh, how long can I keep visiting her like this? Especially since, uh, Anzai ends up breaking up with Tyra because of this shit. That, and that's why I'm kind of annoyed by this. Um, at first I told myself I'd stop when she got better. I almost said I would, uh, I will never leave her side, but she looks so much better so suddenly. Honestly, even if I'm not with her, um, or, and then there's Agent 07. And, like, I'm, like, why did we not get that close-up of Agent 07? Ugh! Oh, blind vision! You could have done something cool! But, we're not, are we not gonna get, oh, damn it! Oh. Next, I'm telling you, next episode, if we do not get, if we're not, especially if we're not gonna get, um, Agent 70's, I said zero seven. Agent seven zeros, um, backstory. If we aren't getting that, I'm gonna be so mad. Cause Agent seven zeros backstory is so important. I really wanted to see this adapted. Oh, that's not fair. So, oh my god, I'm so mad that it's not here. Instead, we're skipping. Instead of that, instead of that shit, we're skipping to page 24. I think this is some bullshit. Fuck, I think this is some fucking bullshit. I would rather not have the cheese cabbage rolls shit and have this. Fuck, I would have rather not have the beginning of chapter 5 adapted and have the, the Agent 70 content. This is some bullshit, Platinum Vision. I'm a shit! Yes! The shit! First of all, I was supposed to be I love you. Fuck you for not doing that, Platinum Vision. But the shit! Ah, yes! We got the sniper shot from Agent 70! Yes! Oh, I wish it was from a different angle, though! Oh, I fucking hate the angle you chose to do it from! minute nine second mark but okay I'm looking here to see okay we're looking good so f okay maybe not looking good so far in the movement of the body <sighs> yeah um when Anzai is shot and he's fallen yeah, the animation for it is not looking good. But I will say this, at least we're getting blood. Thank you. And you know what? If if, if uh, the gun control liberals are watching this shit and saying, this is why, uh, this is insensitive because of uh, mass shootings and shit. You know what I got to say to you? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's all I gotta say to you gun control liberals. This is an anime. Don't, uh, and this is a manga. Deal with it. Okay, the 19 minute 29 second mark. What the fuck kind of blood is that? That does not look like blood. Blood division, that looks like fucking ketchup. That does not look like blood. That does not look like blood. That looks way too thick to be blood! I'm sorry, it does! But God! Ugh. Oh 
my god, don't tell me we're going into chapter six right now. But god damn it! I oh, why are we seeing this from Tara's point of view? I want to see it from Mon's eyes! No! You're killing me! episode since you want to be extremely creative is either page one of uh, chapter six adapted or what I would really like to see is I want to see agent seven uh, agent seven zeros um, backstory adapted please for the love of God please please adapt um, Chapter 7 Zero's backstory. I am begging you, Platinum Vision. Please, 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 please. That would be so fucking powerful going into the ep going into next week's episode. Oh my god, I'm just begging you. Please! God damn it, I keep saying 70 or 07. Fuck, I don't know why I keep mixing up the name, but it is 07. Fuck, I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh shit! Oh god! Okay. I gotta say, like, at first when Anzai transformed into his double form, yeah, um, the animation was kind of wonky, but that, uh, but after that, and after he jumped after, uh, to go after Zero Seven, whew, but something that's bothering me, and I know it has to do with time constraint, is we don't get to see Zero Seven talk with the organization. That's something that I would like to see happen next episode. Uh, as well. But Jesus, for the love of God, please put Zero Seven's backstory at the start of the episode, please! Oh, Planet Vision, we need it! Oh my God! Planet Vision, I am begging you! For the love of God, show the flashbacks! Next week, you have to show Zero Seven's flashbacks at the start of the episode. You have to! Even if that means delaying the opening song a little later in the episode or not showing it at all, you have to show all of the flashbacks for Zero Seven. You could make you could make next week's episode so fucking powerful if you do that. I am begging you, please do it. Please please do it. Seriously. It's if Especially, um, okay, the ones I'm referring to are, uh, for those that are curious, um, the first one starts on page 27 of, uh, chapter 6, and the other one is, like, seriously, you need to do it. Also, something that needs to, um, that I'm really curious if the anime is, if you're gonna do Platinum Vision, is if you're, is if after the fight, um, between, on, then you could continue the fight between Anzai and, uh, um, and, uh, Zero Seven right after that. Well, if you don't do the one in Chapter 5, the uh, flashback, because I, I know we're, I think we're only getting a 12 episode season. If we're not, if we're only getting a 12 episode season, you can, you could skip the one in chapter five and at least, uh, you at least, the very least do the one in chapter six, because that one is more important uh, to me. And after that, you could go, keep going with the fight. And then after the fight, you've got to have uh, zero seven communicating uh, with Oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait! Oh my god! Next week we get Hans! Oh my god! Next week we get Hans! We get Lee next week! Oh my god! Platinum Vision, you better not fuck up Lee! You better not fuck up Lee's appearance, or I will fucking hate you! We get Lee next week! I forgot about this! Oh my god! But still, I stand by my statement, you need to have the flashbacks, for, um, for, uh, zero 07, the start, at least, ch if you don't have chapter 5s, fine. Get chapter 6's flashback at the beginning, and then, oh my god, and then get the fight, and finish the fight, and then show Lee! I'm so excited for Lee next week! Oh my god, you guys have no idea how happy I 
DM right now because I'm forgetting the lead next week. Seriously, anime, Platinum Vision, please, please continue what you basically have been doing for the most part of what you did with uh, Chapter 4. Go follow the order of events. Please, don't skip shit. Don't. Also, please, for the love of God, Please give Onsai more narration, slash inner monologues. Please! Please, I'm begging you. Just do it. I know it's baby steps with you, Platinum Vision, just like it is with with the um with Studio Periot. But unlike Studio Periot, who actually fucking adapts the content pretty damn well, and it's just mainly an animation issue. You have, you actually have, we actually have to start from ground zero with you. But God, please, Studio Periot, do not fuck up Lee. I beg you. Because Lee is my baby. I love Lee so much. I'm begging you, do not fuck up my baby or I will hate you forever. Ugh. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. That To me, this episode was definitely a step in the right direction for you, Platinum Vision. Um, you, if you want to get me on the feel side of things, you definitely need to watch what Yamushi Pedal and what Major Second did this past week. Oh, you definitely need to do, watch what Yamushi Pedal and Major Second did this past week because they hit me right in the feels. Woo, they did. Um, also, uh, you also need to watch more March Comes In Like a Lion. Swear to goddamn God. Because what uh, March Comes In Like a Lion did, what Studio Shaft did for Ray, narrative-wise, is what you need to be doing for Anzai. Seriously. Please, for the love of God, just do it. And also, that fucking shot at... Uh, also, that, um, when Anzai was shot, that was some bad animation, man. Oh, Platinum Vision, that was so disappointing. Uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, or if you, you want to let out your grievances, manga readers, please let it, let, let them be known in either the comment section or the Nerdigan Zinc Discord server, which the link to that is in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow, uh, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc, um, and if you love what I'm doing and want to contribute to my channel expansion, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, um, GoFundMe, Patreon, or purchase something off my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and friend me on PlayStation Network, all that's in the description box below as well. Until, ne uh, until next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye!